What's up everybody, Renfail here, and we're back again with another beginner's guide for EVE Online. Now a lot of you know who have been following my channel for a while that I just got into this game recently and I've been going through the early stages of the game, collecting my thoughts, having great times in the streams of the community, and we've been putting together a bunch of documentation for folks who are, like myself, new to the game, which is kind of a crazy thing to think about when it's a 20 year old game, but there it is. There are people out there like me never played it before and we did the beginner the ultimate beginner's guide to the starting experience for people and then a request was made to put together a top three tips video for new players I'm happy to uh, oblige and during the stream this morning we actually came up with about uh, 12 different things on our list but we're only going to cover three of them today because the rest are going to be joined into another video because we're condensing things into different uh, formats. So this one is more about just when you first get going in the game and you're out of the prologue and you're not quite sure where to go. They've pointed you in the direction of the career agents and that's where I want to start this video. So you click the agency tab and you bring this up and you're going to have all of these different options across the top. You've got agents and missions, encounters, exploration, resource harvesting, home front operations, and those can be broken down further as you go through here. You can go to agents and missions and um, there's paragon agents, mission agents, career agents, epic arcs, storyline agents, which I don't have any, um, and there's encounters, exploration, resource harvesting, and so on and so forth. Now, the first place they guide you after you get out of the tutorial is the career agents. Um, and once you come in here, you're going to have five, I think it's five, is it five or six? One, two, three, four, five, six. There's five. There's five options here. Each one of these takes about two hours to go through. And the most important thing I can recommend you do is do these first. As a brand new player who's never played the game before, absolutely come in here and do these first. Now, the way these are broken down is by basically career types. So they give you a great description when you click on each one, like the Enforcer are pilots who live for war. So this is going to be your basic combat-based um, uh, module, essentially, teaching you all the things about combat. But the more important thing here is that you get ships and all of the necessary kits and modules that go along with those ships. So do not, under any circumstances, skip these. Just do them, because you're going to get... Uh, right out of the gate uh, in this particular one with the Enforcer one you get two ships you get one at the very beginning of the series and then you get one towards the end of the series and not only that but along the way you get all of the modules that you're going to need for that ship so you get um, weapons you get we'll take a look at it real quick I can actually show you guys if I go into my fittings here um, for this particular ship um, you get your guns, you get afterburner, you get a warp disruptor, you get a wave with stasis webifier, you get an overdrive ejector system, a mining laser upgrade, a small armor repair, and I'm pretty sure if I go into my inventory, I've got stuff like a civilian thermal hardener um, in my in my inventory. I'm probably got some other stuff in here too that I've picked up along the way. Oh, an overdrive ejector, which I've already got. So you get a bunch of stuff, and of course loot. You get loot from doing the missions. So it's definitely worthwhile to come in and do right away before anything else, do the career agents. You can pick the one that you think is gonna suit your play style and only do that one, or you can go through and just work your way through all of these and get an idea for all of them, plus get a bunch of ships and all of the mods that go with them, which is really, really useful. And the second tip, which falls right in line with that, is if you hover over any single one of these, or click on any single one of these, I should say, it's going to give you a recommended skill plan. Follow these. <laughs> it tells you here, as an example for the Enforcer, before heading this to this career agent, it is recommended that you start training this air certified skill plan the Air Galente Enforcer. It is not required, but it will unlock useful ships and modules and improve your effectiveness over time. The coolest thing about this is that if you click on it, now I've already mostly finished it, um, so it's only showing a couple of skills right now um, because most of the other ones are already completed. But what it does is it shows you a grouping of skills. Um, maybe click on one of these. That one has four. What about this one? Galante Explorer. This one's got a few more. It just depends on whether or not you've done 
um, one of these or not because I've already done one so I've got a lot of these skills already but essentially when I first started off and I clicked the enforcer uh, skill tree it showed up all of these oh here it is hide trained skills here we go that's what I was looking for all of these skills were things that it was going to give me as part of the training pack package so uh, the first thing I did is I said start training now it took I think about six days it still hasn't completed actually um, about six days for this to complete and I've added to it since then but the great thing about this is that it does it all offline for you so it's in real time so if it takes five days or whatever it takes five days of real time but it unlocks all of the things you're going to need for the the ship that you're gonna get at the end of the mission but it's also going to give you or at the end of the, the quest chain I should say but it's also going to give you skills that are applied to other ships and other uh, types of gameplay outside of this initial combat um, scenario so first and foremost pick one of these career paths to go down quick commercial break everyone to give a shout out to our first official guild officer Bubblonia, as well as all of the guild champions and of course all of the members who help keep me on the air full time to join as a member, simply click that join button below and pick your tier, but you can also support with super chats on any live stream or premiere or super thanks on any upload or YouTube short. Don't forget the Discord. Let's get back to the video. Um, once you do that, you're going to get ships along the way. Make sure you take the recommended skill plan and just click start training and it will start training all of those skills and apply them to your character. And then when you're done, you can go down and do all of these if you want. And each time you're going to do one, just go ahead and click, you know, start that skill training program. Like I could go over here, click on the producer and say start training. But I'm currently doing one, so I want to finish the one I'm working on and go from here. And then finally, this is something that is not told to you in the tutorials, in any of the tutorials that I've seen or so far or played through, is they don't tell you anything about insuring your ship. So make sure that as soon as you've gotten a new ship to right click it and go down to the place where it says insure. Now it's going to give you some terms. These are This is the, the third tip I can give you to get going. Um, it's going to say that this insured ship will be, it's, the selected ship will be insured for 12 weeks um, and it works for everything un unless the ship is repackaged placed in a non-corporate item exchange or auction contract, or it's destroyed while in the possession of somebody else, or destroyed while you are being actively pursued by conquered, which are like the police. If you've done some really naughty stuff, they'll come after you. Um, so you say yes, and then after that, you just pick whichever level of insurance you want or what you can afford. And essentially, if your ship is destroyed, you're going to get a payout value of X credits or ISK, which will then allow you to go out and buy a new ship and buy all the fittings that go with that ship in the case that it's destroyed. So these are the easiest top three tips that I think new players who are like myself should know because it's not explicitly detailed. Um, the tutorial just sort of guides you to the career path and says, hey, start here. But the tutorial doesn't tell you anything about the skill plans. It doesn't tell you anything about ensuring your ship. Those are things you gotta learn along the way so hopefully you enjoy that and it helped now we're going to be doing uh at some point along the way over the next week or so as i continue to get deeper into eve online i'm only playing on the weekends but um we're going to be doing more guides because it's been requested and i know the big one this morning that we were covering during the live stream was looking at the combat stuff there was a lot of crazy stuff where i had figured out some combat stuff that like um, pablo and some of the other people hadn't seen yet and then they had a couple of tips that i hadn't seen yet so things like you know left clicking and 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 control clicking to select targets and how to determine if something has loot on it or not um selecting multiple targets tracking your target keeping the pov of your ship where you want it all that kind of stuff so we're going to be getting into more guides as we go along so if you like this don't forget to like subscribe hit the bell icon so you never miss an update check out all the playlists because we do a lot of other stuff besides eve online play a lot of different games we do tv shows film reviews podcasts around middle earth and dune there's a discord we're multi-streaming on twitch so hopefully we'll see you in all the places doing all the things and until next time stay safe everybody happy gaming